Welcome to the Monday Evening Master Quest. We're starting with our Ayurvedic talk. And with our Ayurvedic talk, we are going to talk about Abhyanga. And I do have a video already demonstrating how you do your daily Abhyanga. But we're going to talk specifically tonight about Marma Abhyanga. But before we do that, I want to just give you a description of what Abhyanga is so that you know what that word is. So Abhyanga is basically body massage, self-massage. Um, you can do treatments that are Abhyanga and also do it to yourself. I'm going to give you some quick benefits of Abhyanga. It's uh, using oil that is specific to your constitution. So you need to find out what that is you don't just choose any random oil. It's important to make sure that you're not just getting an oil from the drugstore. There's usually a lot of additives and things added to those oils that are not beneficial for us. Ayurvedic oils use herbs, uh, medicated herbs, and then the carrier, which is your oil, is specific also to the constitu constitution. So it's not just the oil that's specific. If you are a Vata person, you are going to want to use an oil that is thicker. So like a sesame oil. If you're a Pitta constitution, you're going to want to use an oil that is a little bit more cooling and um, lighter. So like coconut oil or sunflower oil. Or if you're a Kapha individual, Sometimes kapha, they need to be more careful not always do oil because kapha, remember, is earth and water. They already are heavy and oil is heavy. It's earth. It's a way of bringing earth into the body. So kapha, if they're using an oil, their base is going to be like a mustard oil, so more stimulating. And then the herbs are, again, going to be appropriate to the constitution. So vata typically wants to have herbs that are stabilizing and calming. And pitta wants herbs that are cooling, help remove heat, also bring in ease. And kapha needs more stimulation. So the herbs that are used in those kapha oils are more fragrant and pungent. All right. So one of the, some of the benefits of Abhyanga are reverses and prevents aging and increases longevity. Well, we all want that. People spend a lot of money trying to reverse aging. So daily Abhyanga is a way of doing that. Removes fatigue and stress from work and life overall. So that is why you might want to be doing Abhyanga at night as well. You do, I do it in the morning and then I do it at night, especially in the winter time. And also helps to heal and prevent nervous system disorders. That's because you're bringing in earth. It calms and grounds the nervous system. Promotes good vision. Nourishes the body and promotes sturdiness. So it makes the body more stable and substantial. It remedies insomnia. So if you have sleep disturbances going on, daily abhyanga is something to consider. Creates an electrochemical balance in the body. So it helps your hormone balances, all of that. It also is nourishing and prevents skin dehydration, and it strengthens the nerves. Oil helps the electromagnetic field. Remember, we are electromagnetic. You can rub your hands together and then separate them and feel your electromagnetic force between your hands. In Qigong, we do that all the time. It stimulates the antibodies in the body and antibody production, and that will then result in strengthening the immune system. So there's really so many benefits for daily Abhyanga. It's, there's nobody that is not gonna get benefit from it. We want all of those benefits. Okay, so that is your daily Abhyanga and why you would wanna do it. Those benefits are great for everybody. And we're gonna also talk about 
Marma Abianga. So Marma is different. We all know what acupuncture points are, correct? Well, in Ayurveda, those points are called Marma points. And there is a whole therapy, Marma Abhyanga, that we do. It is a body treatment that we do where you stimulate the different Marma points. And what it does is it gives further benefits. So sometimes the body can really go out of balance and you could really help bring it back into health and wellness by stimulating those Marma points. So let me just explain a few things to you about why they are so powerful, these points. So Marma points are positions in the body where you have flesh, veins, arteries, tendons, bones, and joints, and they all meet. So it's where they all come together, where they intersect. They're considered junction points of vata, pitta, and kapha. Junction points of sattva, rajas, and tamas. So if you don't know these terms, that's okay. I've talked about all of these in other talks. I'm not going to go into detail about all the terms, but don't worry about it. These are the different layers of who we are. So remember, vata, pitta, and kapha, those are all the elements and how they come together and make up the doshas. The doshas are our constitutions are different constitutions, which means that if you are a particular dosha, you have a tendency towards behaving, thinking, reacting, certain emotional way of being, mental way of being because of that dosha. Okay, so the doshas are vata, pitta, kapha, and then you have sattva, rajas, and tamas. That's where they come together. It, they are junction points where it is said that eternity and relativity meet. Some also say that is where self-realization and inner self and outer self meet. That also knowing and the process of knowing meet. So there's they're considered junction points also of the physical, the astral, and the causal bodies. And there are also points where the person's mind, body, and spirit have particular connections. So this is what you are stimulating, all those things. Anytime you have a Marma treatment, if you've never had a Marma treatment done, I'd recommend it. It's, it's like a, a, another type of treatment that you can do, like I said, for wellness. And it's very interesting. It's super relaxing. It's kind of like, like having a different alternative therapy done, like Reiki or polarity. Uh, Marmot points are these five principles or junctions, and they are considered abhyanga as well. And they're, in, they're effectively a way of restructuring and rebalancing the entire system. So it helps the whole body as a whole, the mind as a whole, the emotional body as a whole. Remember I talked about the the causal layer, the astral layer. It's all of us, who we are and all the layers. It also helps to develop the preventative health that we have and longevity in the body and the mind and ensures proper balance and flow of hormones, fluids, and the immune factors of the body. So there are 107 Marma points that exist in the body. And that makes it a lot easier for us here in Ayurveda uh, because in acupuncture, in Chinese acupuncture, they have thousands of points. Now we have major Marma points and minor Marma points and they get broken down into the leg, the trunk, those kinds of things. And like I said, if you haven't had that done, it's come and try it out, a Marma treatment. So those are the Marma points and they're very, I'm gonna show you guys like, I don't know if you could see it because it's so hard when I do this stuff. They're really complex, you see that? And that is just one set of points. So they're, they're 
all throughout the body. And when you stimulate them, you are helping the entire body, mind, spirit as a whole. Okay, so it's another Ayurvedic treatment to consider. Come and try it out, you guys. All right, so that's our talk for tonight. Daily Abhyanga, do it. If you're not doing it, incorporate it in your daily routine. And then as a treatment to help preventative medicine, to help preventative health so that you keep your immune system strong is the Marma therapy. Okay.